Access to the Corvette is easy, if you have the transmitter. Provisions have been provided in the event emergency access is needed. For normal access, when the transmitter is within range, usually about three feet, just press the pad at the rear edge of the door to unlock and open the door. To start the Corvette, the transmitter must be in the vehicle. With an automatic transmission, depress the brake pedal and then touch the start-stop button. On a manual transmission equipped Corvette, depress the clutch pedal. Release the button when the engine starts cranking. To turn off the car, do the same thing. On an automatic, put the selector in park and then press the button once. On a manual transmission, depress the clutch pedal, depress the brake pedal, place the vehicle in first gear or reverse, and touch the button once. Even with the engine off, the vehicle's retained accessory power is still on. This allows you to operate the audio system and electrical accessories for up to 10 minutes. The hatch can be opened in four ways. With the transmitter in range, depress the hatch release button located above the license plate, by pressing and holding the release button on the transmitter, by inserting the master key from the transmitter into the lock cylinder, and from inside the vehicle by pressing the hatch release. The master key allows access to the Corvette in the event that the battery is dead. Open the hatch using the key. Once in the vehicle, the driver's door can be opened using the release handle on the driver's side of the luggage compartment. In the event of a battery rundown condition with occupants in the vehicle, there is a manual release lever that is easily accessed. There is one lever for the driver's door and one for the passenger door. These levers are located next to the door sill. Actuate the lever to release the door. This information and more can be found in Section 2 of the Owner Manual.